Howdy folks, welcome back. In this edition of our free AI tool series, I have five free amazing AI tools to share with you all that you'll wish you knew about earlier. Let's get started. First up is Udio. In a prior video in our AI tool series, I had mentioned the AI music generator, Suno. Some of you had mentioned you should try out Udio to create AI music, stating that the sound quality was superior, which it is. The music that is generated on here is copyright free and royalty free, so it can be used in commercial projects, social media, or wherever you wanna use it. On this account, I've had it create a couple songs. Here's a short sample of those. Smiles a spark, like a glimmered finger in the dim light, a story it untold. In the shadow of dawn, where the dark dreams sway, your eyes hold secrets, whisper in the brain. To begin to generate songs, in the left pane, click on Create. Here in the box, enter in your prompt. I'll have it make a country pop song to ask my brother to stop eating my Pop-Tarts, having it use a male vocalist. In Write Your Lyrics, you have the choice to have it auto-generate the lyrics, which is what I'll do. If you have your own lyrics, select Custom, and you can enter those here in the box. And the last one here lets you make the song an instrumental with no lyrics. Let's go back to auto-generate. When you're done with all that, click on Create. Here on the right, you'll see that it created two songs, one called Breakfast Peace and the other one called Save Me Just One More. So let's hear what those sound like. Oh brother, can you hear me? Those pop to parts you keep snatching Every morning it ain't easy Scrums where love used to be. And let's hear the other one. Hey, brother, I gotta tell you. Hey. These pop tarts mean a lot to me. To me. When you keep eating all my favorites, Favorite. it just feels like a crime, you see. If you're not crazy about what it created for you, thankfully, you can adjust the prompt to make it better for you. Udio, like many of the AI tools, uses the freemium model. For free, there's a daily limit of 10 credits, which will make three full-length songs, and you get an additional 100 credits per month. For additional credits, plans start at $8 per month. Imagen 4, Google's latest text-to-image model, can help you to create stunning images in Gemini. Of all I've played around with lately, ChatGPT, Midjourney, Grok, Adobe Firefly, and many others, this one is the absolute best right now. As quickly as things are changing in AI, that could change tomorrow. While the others have improved quite a bit, I found the Imogen 4 model does the best job when rendering text. Here's an example prompt I've entered into Gemini. Create a widescreen image of a vibrant 1950s neon sign for a drive through that spells rock and roll and diner with a large arrow and stars. When it's done, there's a download button located in the upper right of the image that lets you download it. In addition, in Google's labs, they have an experiment they call WISC, where you can generate images with Imogen 4 that will also let you take those generated images and turn them into short videos. Here's a simple prompt I just entered. Create an image of a monkey wearing a cowboy hat riding a white horse on a dirt road in an old western town. When it's done, you'll see that it created two images. And you'll notice in the upper left corner, there's an animate button. So let's animate this image by clicking on animate. And you'll see here in the box, it says, give it some animation. What would you like to see? So I just entered this in. I'd like to see the horse moving down the street. So let's see if this works. When it's done, click on the play button in the lower left. I want to point out it's using the older VO2 model. So in this example, it's not very impressive. Hopefully they improve on that. 
for free, Gemini includes a good amount, including image generation using ImageN4. Depending on server demand, 10 to 20 images can be created per day on the free plan. For additional features and higher limits, paid plans start at around $20 per month. Next up is ClipChamp. This beginner-friendly video editor from the folks at Microsoft is great for those of you that want to make high-quality videos without having to learn how to use a professional editor like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. ClipChamp now includes AI features for free to take your videos to the next level. The AI text-to-speech feature will generate a voiceover for you where you can choose the language and voice. AI silence removal will find and remove the silent moments and filler words from your audio to help make the overall quality of your video better. There's AI subtitles that will help to transcribe your video's audio into more than 80 languages, and their AI noise suppression feature will remove the background noises that you don't want in your audio. When you begin, you'll have two choices here at the top. You can create a new video from scratch or create a video with AI using your own media. When you select the latter, it opens this window where you can give it a title and an area to add your own media. You can either click the plus or drag and drop the media into this box, which is what I've done from a clip from another video. Then click on Get Started. From here on out, just follow the instructions. ClipChamp can be downloaded for Windows and iOS. They also have a web app that can be used in your favorite web browser. For casual users, the free plan should be enough, but the video exports are limited to 1080p. To export up to 4K and get additional features, their premium plan is around $12 per month. This is a cool one. Infographics allows you to generate professional quality infographics using simple text prompts. What used to be time consuming now takes very little time. It now has generative AI built in. You could input your own data or topic to let the AI create something that is visually appealing, or you could just type something in like they do in their example, leading quarterbacks from 2011 to 2020, and it will create an infographic for you. To have it create an infographic just using the AI, in the left pane, select Use AI. Select the infographic you want it to generate. Your choices are Hierarchy, Timeline, List, and Cycle. I'll go with Timeline. In this example, I'll enter the text, top grossing movies from 2010 to 2024. When you're done with that, click on Generate. You'll get this pop-up that says it's temporarily sharing data with a third-party vendor, OpenAI. If you're not sharing any confidential or sensitive information, it's safe to move on from this. Check the boxes and click OK. For the most part, it did pretty good. In 2010, the top grossing film was Toy Story 3, 2022, Top Gun Maverick, and it kind of screwed up with 2024. The top grossing film last year was the Disney film Inside Out 2. If you do find any mistakes, go over here to the left pane and where you see the text, I'll scroll down to 2024, where it says Untitled Blockbuster. You can change that. I'll input Inside Out 2, get rid of some of this text here and replace some of the text as well. Down below, you have the option to share it if you want to, save it, and you can also download it in various formats to be used on social media, presentations, or reports. At this time, infographics is completely free and there is no paid plan, but there is a limit of 10 infographics per day. In addition to their web app, they also have mobile apps for both Android and iOS. Also completely free right now is Text-to-Speech Online. As the name suggests, it'll take your text and convert it into natural sounding speech. It now has more than 125 languages and dialects and more than 400 voices to choose from. First, choose the language. I'll leave it on English and change it to an Indian dialect. So English, India. Now choose the voice. Then in the box, enter your text. There is a 2000 character limit. I'll be using the text from the previous segment. Let's hear what that sounds like by clicking on the play button. This might get a little weird. This is a cool one. Infographics allows you to generate professional quality infographics using simple text prompts. What used to be time consuming now takes very little time. If you are not a designer, this is one you need to check out. It actually sounds as good or better than some of the paid tools I've played around with. And as I said earlier, this one's still completely free. 
When you go to download the audio file, it is saved as an MP3 that can be used in any of your projects. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What AI tools are you using for free? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe, and as the kids say, smash that notification bell to not miss out on our latest AI tools videos and other tech-related stuff.